To fill in the story of the lionfish impact, here I am pushing myself into the belly of a wreck. With barely enough room to move, 90 feet down, I'm working my way into the crawl space forward of the engines. Hidden in here is an old male clinging crab with monstrous claws. Check out these fearsome weapons. On second thought, these claws are not fearsome weapons as they have no cutting or crushing surface. For all their size, they are delicate coming together in little serrated pads like forceps. All clinging crabs are very shy and rarely seen or photographed. On an old male like this, the claws are so heavy that he doesn't even bother to raise them. There is a balance on every coral reef between animal life and plant. Coral, sponges, and algae compete for space. Different forces push this balance one way or another. Herbivores, or plant eaters, will have the effect of favoring animal life. If something is eating the algae, the coral has more room to grow. It is generally agreed that a healthy population of herbivores is desirable to maintaining a healthy coral reef. The problem is in figuring out what the reef's herbivores are. Most people assign parrotfish to this role. I am going to spend time in another video debunking this, as most parrotfish are not herbivores at all. Most will eat algae only when their favorite animal foods are no longer present. Notice these parrotfish do not eat at the reef at all, preferring to find their favorite food on the sand flats. For a quick review, this is Microdictian algae, the bad guy on the reef. It grows in dense mats, killing coral and sponges. It plugs up the reef, fills it with sediment, and chokes out the life. It appears to be toxic and probably incubates bacteria that cause coral disease. No fish will eat this algae, but crabs and urchins will. Urchins die if they eat too much of it. I'll address that in yet another video. Our male crab is now near an opening in the wreck. It is about a foot square. The claws are big. They are built like forceps designed for precise picking. Because this is a male, there is a central tooth or spike to help with mating battles. Males fight fiercely for the attention of females. Check out the tips of the claws and how they come together in little serrated pads. These claws are made to pick algae and these crabs are very good at it. Here is a female clinging crab. It has similar claws, much smaller and without the fighting tooth. Around this wreck I found three female crabs. The rocks around this anemone is picked bare and has a purplish color. Bare reef of this color is thought to be primed and ready for new coral to colonize the reef. It is considered a good sign as opposed to reef covered by toxic weed. This rock is not cleaned by urchins. They leave the surface with a very different texture as they actually chew the surface. This is the work of small crabs. These small crabs hide day and night. They know they are tasty, so all one may see of them is a single claw that reaches out to feed. They will clean every last bit of every type of algae around their hiding spot, but limit their exposure, stretching out from hiding without actually leaving cover. The slightest movement, noise, or shadow sends them deep into hiding. Here I am using a small bit of an algae in the Lobophora family to entice this crab to expose itself. This Lobophora algae produces toxins to allow it to expand on the reef. These toxins kill soft coral on contact and prevent most plant eaters from eating it. These crabs are an exception, able to eat Lobophora at will. To give scale to the crab, that's a lettuce sea slug on the left side of the frame. Even though the crab seems to be really enjoying his meal, he does not leave the cover of his anemone. Exploding populations of small predatory fish on the reef decimated the population of these small crabs several times over. Introduction of the lionfish and the subsequent reduction of these small predators is allowing the crab populations to recover. This recovery of the crab population is providing conditions where new coral can grow and restore the reef. Thank you for watching this video. Please like, subscribe, comment, and share. Hope to see you diving.